Ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our next uh, main event of the evening, and would you first welcome to the ring, please, from the United States of America, Tyler Hughes. <laughs> First time I've seen this gentleman, Tyler Hughes, chatting him at the way in Nebraska. Well, you don't get too many great fighters out there. Ron Standard every week got knocked over very really lively by Joe Frazier. On a fellow we've got on his feet called Fred Astaire. Yes, he came from Nebraska, but uh, he'll have to be a bit lively on his feet to get out of Calzaghe's way, this lad. We don't know really too much about him. It, in uh, boxing parlance, they say he doesn't break an egg with his punches, but you never know, because he seemed quite confident at the, at the weigh-in ceremony. He said, no, I, I'm OK, I'm, you know, I'm working with some good tough guys in the gym all the time and the sort of fellow that fights in what they call the smokers in America, sort of bar room, uh, not unofficial fights, but uh, with gloves on, etc. to earn a few bob. And uh, if he'd come all this way, he said he'd never seen Carl Zagin, hadn't seen him on the video either. Ray Manafi there, been around a long time. He's, he's, he wants to fight Winky Wright for the championship, he's the corner man there. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from South Wales, Joe Kalzaki. This fellow's really bubbling and fancies his luck in style these days, as he was saying. He wants to fight Steve Collins. Well, that's probably a big jump from Tyler Hughes to Steve Collins. Well, I know it is. Uh, but he can bang, he keeps winning, and you can't ask more than that. He's only been the distance, one fighter, uh, I should say, has been the distance with him, Bobby Joe Edwards. And, uh, well, an eight rounder, and that was because he conceded, he did concede a lot of weight in that by Joe Calvary, so that was understandable. And Bobby Joe, which is a smart operator, nine wins in the first round, six in the second. So, uh, don't go out and put the kettle on. Good, good amateur, you know, terrific amateur record, really. He hasn't been beaten since 1990 against a Romanian in the European Juniors. Three ABAs at three different weights. That takes a lot of doing. And a three schools and a boys club championship. And there's the, the rundown. He's, he's, he's cracking on a bit. I mean, I know 28 doesn't sound very old, but in professional terms, uh, with only 12 wins, it's, uh, doesn't have too many fights, Mr. Hughes, does he? It's the knockout percentage says it all for himself there. But he does have a bit of experience in the rounds for what that matters, but it's, it's what kind of opposition that Hughes has been in with that we have to judge. You never know, I mean, we've seen some bit surprises, guys we didn't realize uh, walk on the scene and confide a bit. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, our joint top of the bill, promoted by Frank Warren for Sports Network Europe. It's an international super middleweight contest over 10 three-minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner, we're in the white trunks trimmed with green, coming from uh, Nebraska in the United States. He is undefeated as a professional in 12 contests, three wins coming by way of KO, and scaled in at 11 stone, 13 and three quarter pounds. Would you please welcome to Manchester, Tyler Hughes. And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in the blue corner, wearing the all-black trunks and coming from the New Bridge in Gwent, South Wales. He has the impressive uh, professional record of 20 wins from 20 contests, 19 coming by the way of the big KO. He scaled in at 12 stone, one and three quarter pounds, and comes to the ring as the former undefeated super middleweight champion of Great Britain, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Kalzaki. Your officials for this contest are the Joe. 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 The referee, Mr. Phil Calzill. 
So now, are we going to get a test for Joe Calzaghe, or is it this going to be another quick one? Could well be. Ten three minute rounds. Twelve stone division super middleweight. But at least he's an unbeaten fighter. Whatever the opposition has been, a little bit string beany he looks, doesn't he? A little bit of showmanship, actually, Joe Calzaghe. He said he's always done it since his amateur days. I've often said I wish he'd save it for, you know, the top. And that seems to be the thing today. If you can fight a bit, you've got to put a little bit of show with it. Well, he's threatening to throw a punch down. He usually walks in. He nearly did there. Nearly got it. Well, I hope Hughes at least can ask a couple of questions and maybe we'll find out a bit more about Calzaghe because their recent opponents really have been a waste of time. At least he's having a go. Well, at least he's walking forward. He's not running away early on. Zoo's confidence the whole time, don't they? Because it's, uh, he's got to watch that one of these days. See, the problem is boxing too long at this level, it's not really doing you any good, you're not learning anything. And uh, you, have, you really have to be tested to get your technique where it should be. And really, everything's been so easy for Joe Kozagi. It really has to be stepped up in class before they start moving him into the, with the top boys. Well, they're just keeping busy now. Uh, while the contract with Mickey Duff runs out, actually, and their Frank Foreign Promotions are giving him plenty of work, as they say in boxing. Well, I mean, not really quality punching here from...